What started out as a pastime activity for Joseph Chevosun has now grown into a serious farming venture. And it is all about this fruit known as the Cape gooseberry or Mboinyo in the Kalenjin language. Wakati nilianza soko kupeleka ya kwanza kacharibu kupeana gidogo na weka magaratachi na katembesa gidogo nikapulizwa na mama wii mboni sini mboni ya misituni at this farm in Capsil Boy village in El Geo, Marakwet County, Joseph grows the Cape gooseberries. It all started three years ago for this 57-year-old farmer who began his venture by collecting the fruits from a nearby forest. By then, many thought he was crazy, but not after realizing that he indeed grows them from his farm. Shamba yenyewe, nilianza na pointi tatu, nikianza. Alafu baada ya miezi sita nikaongeza mpaka eka moja bondi safa. Shamba yote sasa ni ekambi, ekambili. Sasa mbegu yenye iko ndani ni elfu sita. The marble-sized fruit which is native to South America is yellow in color and does well in areas with fairly warm temperatures. The plants are easy to maintain as they don't require fertilizer or sprays to keep off pests. And all that Joseph has to do is ensure there are no weeds before harvesting. With the fruit taking three months to mature, Joseph harvests about 10 kilograms of the fruit daily, earning him an average of 70,000 shillings every month. Boni in Taigane, Ville Meiva, ni daily. The Cape gooseberries can stay fresh for up to two weeks after harvesting. Joseph is riding on the health benefits that the fruit offers to drive the sales of his produce. The fruit can be used to make excellent jams and also in exotic fruit salads. Kati ya hapo ndani nikitembea kuusa kwa watecha wachache nikagundua kumbe ni dawa ndani moja ni meno sugari ina balance na watoto wachanga kwa ile vitu wanatumia kwa ile wanasumbua mitomo wanatumia kusakua kusukua ama mwenye ameanza kutafuna anaweza tumia the only challenge that Joseph has encountered so far is attitude among some locals who still view the fruit as a wild fruit, hence not fit for consumption. But Joseph is determined to change that and is now seeking to expand his farm and employ some full-time workers to help him manage the farm. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.